Welcome to Navy Paints. In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint some vials containing liquids. Following this technique, you can substitute the green out for any other color you like. With that, let's crack in. So the first color here I've gone with is green skin from the Army Painter. I've put a tiny bit of water into this paint just to thin it out. And I've applied two base coats of this color to the area, letting the first dry fully before applying the second. Every step I've mixed a little bit of water into the paint. The reason for doing this, because there are multiple steps and you're repainting the area multiple times, you don't want to leave thick lines from the previous steps. For the empty part of the vial, I've gone with a bit on black from Citadel. Just decide how far down the vial you want to go, because all the black area will be the empty space. The area where you leave the colour will be where your liquid is. If you happen to put too much black down or you're not happy with the amount, just get your base colour and go back over it once the black's dried. So for me, I've just mixed up the depth between each model. To get the shape of the liquids, I just looked at the model and what pose it was in, and where it could be moving from or to, and try to paint on the liquid to represent the movement of the model. Also while painting this on, you can go straight across and make it a lot easier for yourself. It's on such a tiny model, no one will really notice. Now go back to the green, this is a 70-30 mix of the green skin and goblin green, these are both from the army painter. As I did before, I just put a drop of water in the paint just to thin it out a little bit. Starting at the top with the black meets the green, I'll work my way down with this colour, covering about 70-80% to 80 of the previous green. Try to avoid getting the green on the black as much as possible. If you do happen to make a mistake, you can always touch it up later. Being neat and tidy will save you a lot more time in the long run. As you do these early steps, you won't notice a massive difference by eye, but as you gradually blend up to a lighter colour, it'll start to get brighter and show a lot clearer. The next step is again to paint a little bit less than before, and this next mix is a 40-60 mix of green skin and goblin green. Like before, we paint on this colour, going down the model and leaving some of the previous steps showing. If you're not happy or you make a mistake going too far down, just reapply the previous step before moving on. This next step is straight goblin green, and again, just a little bit of water in the paint, and once again, just painting from top to bottom, leaving some of the previous steps showing. This next step is a 50-50 mix of goblin green and jungle green, both from Mermaid Painter. And with this mix, just apply a little bit less of the paint this time again. The next step of the green is just pure jungle green. And with this paint, I'm just painting just under the rim where the black meets the green. The amount I'm putting down is about the thickness of my paintbrush tip. I'm just going around the vial, painting in this color. This next colour is the jungle green again, but I've mixed in a tiny little bit of Corax white, like I made a really little bit. You just want to take the brightness of the jungle green and turn it into a, like an off green colour. If you add too much white to the paint, it'll just dominate the colour, but just put a tiny little bit in, and if you want to add a little bit more, just gradually build it up that way. The last step of painting the green is just to add a tiny little bit more white to the paint, and I'm just painting on a thin line of this colour just to break up the black and the green border. Once this final step's applied, you'll really notice the blend stand out as you look down the model, going from a creamy green all the way down to a deep green. You don't have to do this effect, but it just shows that the chemicals might be boiling or bubbling inside the vial. Using the previous colour, I'll just paint some dots onto the vial, being careful not to go too big. How many of these and where you place them is up to you.
The last paint to apply to the model before touch-ups is just going with pure Corax white from Citadel. If you're not sure where the light should hit, just go and look online. There's heaps of photos of different cylinders and orbs showing light reflection. For my models, for the orbs, I just went with a really basic light reflection, just picking one side and putting a thin line down it. Just be really careful when doing this step, as if you do muck it up, you're going to have to repaint the previous steps to blend the white back in. So just go nice and slowly. On the black area, it's not so bad. You just get the Abaddon black and fix that up later. Now to fix any final mistakes, I've gone back to the Abaddon black from Citadel. This is painted straight from the pot, and I've just gone around all the black areas, fixing up any of the white lines I've put in. If you've made a mistake on the green areas using the white, try to make up your blends again and just fix that up. To blend the black and the green together, I've gone with a watered down Tesseract Glow from Citadel and I'm applying this colour over both the black and the green, going around the cylinder and just avoiding the highlight we just put down. You probably should do this step before you do the white highlight. As I was figuring it out as I went, I had to do it this way myself. And the last thing to do is apply a varnish to the vials. I've chosen gloss varnish from the Ami Painter. Hard coat from Citadel will also work fine. I applied two coats of the varnish, waiting for the first to dry before applying the next. Once that dries up, the vials are done. So this tutorial for the vials was pretty simple. Like I said earlier, you can use this for any color you like. Thanks for watching Ami Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button and leave me a like. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!